Following MRT1 and MRT2, Transport Minister Datuk Seri Dr. Wee Ka Siong recently announced that the MRT3 will be opened in phases between 2028 and 2030. The MRT3 project was initiated by Barrison National in 2016, as a circle line which passes through the denser populated areas in Kuala Lumpur and Ampang Jaya, Selangor. Alongside MRT1 and MRT2, the MRT3 links up existing rail lines including the LRT, monorail, and KTM, resulting in a more complete public transport system within the Klang Valley. The total length of MRT3 is 51 km, of which 39 km is within Kuala Lumpur, and 12 km is in Selangor. The original completion estimate was 2025. However, after PH took over, former PM Tun Dr. Mahathir and former MOT Anthony Loke shelved the project. It was later resumed by BN and incumbent MOT Wee Ka Siong in 2021. Wee Ka Siong added, the construction of the MRT3 will begin this year, and is expected to carry 180,300 passengers per day when it is completed. This is projected to increase to 1.01 million by 2060. In order to meet this projection, the MOT plan for 1. Proposed locations for MRT3 stations to include densely populated areas such as Mont Kiara, Sagambut, Setapak, Danau Kota, Setiawangsa, Pandan, Jalan Sri Permaisuri, Jalan Kalang Lama, and Kerinchi. 2. 10 interchange stations with existing rail lines, including LRT, monorail, KTM, and MRT. 3. Sufficient park and ride facilities to ensure commuters can comfortably switch to MRT3 as their main transport option. 4. First and last mile connectivity such as buses to facilitate passengers going to and from the MRT3 stations. With the addition of the MRT3 fully operational in 2030, Malaysians will be able to enjoy the benefits of a more complete, advanced, reliable and sustainable public transport system.